Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. This time I'll be showing you how to create sexy G GUIs with Python 3. Uh, so a GUI is uh, something you'll see as soon as you start the computer usually. Like anything that shows on the screen is basically a GUI. Like this menu here, taskbar, whatever you call it. Any of these icons has part of the main GUI thingy, I believe. I guess. I'm not good at explaining, of course. So, yeah. So, for example, a window, that's a GUI. Whenever you open up an application, that creates a GUI, and that's what it is. So anyway, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, for this tutorial series, you'll need to install both an IDE. Um, I'm using PyCharm, and then I'll, and then you also need Python 3 itself. So anyway, the link will be in the description of how you need to do that. It's the other video I made. So let's get started. Um, create a new folder on your desktop. Well, that's right. That's blah, 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 blah. that's where I'm gonna put mine. Um, so I'm gonna call it Tikinter tutorial. Tikinter is what we'll be using to make our GUIs. So inside of that, we're gonna make a file called um, you make a text document here and call it uh, first GUI.py. Yes. So now we have a Python file script or whatever you call it. And now we can start coding. So let's open it up with our PyCharm here. Okay, so to be able to make GUIs, we need a Python library called Tikinter, like I said, and we need to import it by doing uh, this code here. So import uh, Tikinter as TK. So we can simply just do um, import Tikinter and that's it. But if we add the TK, that sets like an alias for Tikinter, and then we could just reference it with TK from now on instead of typing Tikinter every time. It's just laziness, basically. So, <laughs> so now we can get to some juicy coding. Uh, let's create a window, our first GUI window. So to that, to do that, we need to initialize TK itself. So um, we do TK, which is up here. These are the same thing, TK. See, as they're both uh, with a box around it. So it's the same thing, and then we use the function here, our method tk. So that comes from the tk library. So, oh, we don't need that, it's not wrong, <laughs> wrong language. So that creates our window, and we can leave that empty for now. I don't think we need anything for that now. And so we can also just give it a title now, so that's pretty cool. So we can do that by doing window, or win, that's what we set it to, the alias for window. This is the window, and we set it to an alias basically. So win dot title. And then we can give it some data, which are which will be a string, which will also be our title. So what do we want to name it? I'll name it our first uh, GUI. That's where I'll name mine. You can name yours whatever you want, obviously. So this gives a the win object a the, the property of title. It gives it a value of our first GUI, basically. It's all object oriented kind of stuff like that. But yeah, so. The GUI will not start actually until we make a loop, which games need and software and all that kind of stuff or whatever GUIs. So we need to make a loop. So that's pretty. That's done pretty simply, but just by doing wind dot main loop, and there we go. And that's it. That's all we got to do. We don't have to pass in anything right now. And so the event loop, the event loop, which that's what it's called, the event loop, will um like it'll end until it won't end until you press the X button. Basically, that ends it. And um, so there's other widgets that we can program into our GUI that allow us to end the main loop. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm bad at explaining, but the main loop is basically a loop that runs forever until you cancel it, basically, okay? So it's not that much you have to worry about. Um, so let's run our code now and see what happens. So let's click run up here, click run again, do that, and that should run it. There we go, there's our first UI. That's pretty awesome. So we can uh, move it stretch it out a little bit so we can see our title that we have that's awesome and it gives us a little and well in web web development we call that a favicon <laughs> i don't know what we call it in gui development but um yeah so that's pretty cool we have this little window now and we can put stuff in it and uh yeah so um that's really awesome so we can close this and that uh in the main loop like i said so now we can see that the process finished which is the main loop basically and so let's make this um I'm gonna. I advise you to use this as a reference every time you make an application. So we're gonna edit it a little bit. We're gonna create some uh, comments for ourselves. So we could say. Uh, so we're just gonna leave some comments here. So import stuff here. Uh, 
There we go. That should be good. What's there? Block comment should begin with a hashtag. It does. What? Whatever. Uh, okay, so now we can create our. This is create instance because we're creating a new instance of Tikinter or the window, same thing. And then here we could uh, add a title to our GUI. So that's what that does. And then here, start the GUI slash create the main loop. So, yep, that's all the ex explanation here. I don't know why I'm getting these stupid errors. Uh, maybe I'm doing something stupid. But, um, what? It just went away. I guess you can't have a space. I mean, you have to have a space. That's weird. Anyway, um, so I hope this helps a little bit, guys. Um, this was your first Tikinter application, made your first UI. I hope you enjoy, and uh, leave a like if you liked it. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment, and I'll help you as soon as I can. And, um, yeah, so leave a like, subscribe, and peace.